As Americans wait for the news of another stimulus check, Vermont Congressman Peter Welch hears the struggles from small business owners and provides an update on the negotiations in Washington. Local 22's Courtney Kramer reports. It, real help for these struggling business doesn't come soon. Vermont is going to be utterly changed. Small business owners around Vermont spoke out Thursday about the battles they faced during the pandemic. They say grant money, not loans, are immediately needed to navigate losses faced and keep their businesses afloat in the months ahead. It has been an absolute battle um, for six, seven months with them now to understand our issues, our cost structure, how you can't paint every business with the exact same paintbrush. Josh Eckler owns the Trailside Inn in Killington and says the PPP loan isn't a one-size-fits-all and didn't provide much relief for his company. Eckler says ski season has yet to provide that much of a boost, and they're getting to the point where they have to choose which bills they can pay. We have fixed costs of twenty dollars to $25,000 a month that don't go away, whether we're open or closed. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine, you can easily multiply out what's happened since March and the amount of cash that we have gone through. We know we've got the vaccine, we know there's an end in sight, and we don't want to leave uh, some businesses and some families on that bridge and destroyed so they can't get back. Congressman Peter Welch says lawmakers are close to reaching a deal that would provide $900 billion in additional relief. Welch says it's not nearly enough, and this version does not include state aid. That uh, is a big setback at the moment. That is where we have the most flexibility to address the specific circumstances of the individual businesses. Welch says he will have a chance to vote on the bill Friday. Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.